How you like that for attitude of gratitude? Good morning! It is Monday, July 1st. It's not June anymore. Did you say rabbit, rabbit, rabbit? You're supposed to say the first words that should come out of your mouth on the first of every month is rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. And I really don't know why, but my best friend told me to do it, so we always do it. <sighs> and I am filming in my car because it is, I'm late. Well, not late for work. I'll be there on time, but later, I left later than I would like to because I was editing a video and I got all wrapped up in it. So, yeah, it's being, I was being bad. But it's going to be a really good week because it's going to be a short week because Thursday's a holiday. Yeah, y'all. I love paid holidays like a fat kid loves cake. And then we're going to see if we can get Friday off, too. Let's just make it a four-day weekend. Or half a day Friday. Because it's going to be, like... Everything's going to be closed, so I'm not going to have a lot of stuff I can do on Friday. So, yeah, we're just going to work. We're going to have a good day. We're going to have a good week. And we're going to have the best July ever. July 2013 is going to be epic for me because I'm telling myself it will, so it will be. Good evening! We made it through a Monday, 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 made it through a Monday. Sorry, I'm happy I made it through a Monday. Oh no, I went out to dinner with my girlfriend because we, I've been on like a hanging out with my bestie role. Like we hung out Friday, Saturday. Yeah, we went to dinner Saturday with some other people. No, Friday. Why can't I talk? We hung Friday. We went out to dinner with a bunch of people. Saturday, we went to the movies. Sunday, we went to Sunday night dinner. And Monday, we went out to dinner again. That's four days in a row. Are we in like a relationship? Is my best friend like my boyfriend? Do I not have a boyfriend because I do everything with my bestie? That's not it. Cause I love her, she loves me. We're two peas in a pod. One day I'll show you our super secret handshake. If she lets me vlog it. Cause it's 50-50, so if she's not cool with it, then I ain't cool with it. I was so upset about something like this evening and I bitched, can I say bitched? I bitched, I complained, I whined, I moaned. And then I did like, <gasps> Let's get over it. There are so many worse things that can happen in the world. And Kendall, you are being spoiled. And Kendall, you are being a brat. And Kendall, it's no big deal. So I went back to the book. Well, I didn't go back to it because I didn't open it, but I thought about the book I read. So I'm going to finish my evening by naming five things I am grateful for. Number one, I am grateful for my family. Without my family, I would have nothing. They took care of me, they gave me a house, they bought me food, they sent me tools, and they just worked their asses, can I say asses? They worked their asses off so that I could have a really good life. And I am so grateful for that. So thank you, Mom and Dad. I am grateful for you. I am grateful that I had a strong my grandmother. Well, I have two grandmothers, but the one I'm talking about, my other grandmother's strong too. I don't want to discount the other one, but my grandmother, who I call Mommy Cat, she passed away a couple of years ago, and I'm still not over it yet. I don't think I'll ever be over it yet. Back to my gratitude thing. I'm grateful that she was strong and independent, and she taught me how to be strong and independent and live by herself, and she did everything she wanted to do. That woman... She was afraid of planes. She never flew anywhere, but she has been, I think she's seen every state in the United States of America by train, car, bus, anything but a plane. She's even been to Alaska. I mean, I haven't even been to Texas yet. So I'm grateful for her. I'm grateful that she taught me that being independent is okay and doing things by yourself is okay. One monkey doesn't stop no show. Do you. Do what you want to do and don't let anybody stop you. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for my job. I'm not always happy with my job and sometimes I just want to get up and go home. But you can't do that because that's tacky and unprofessional. 
but I am grateful I have a job. I'm grateful that I have employment. I'm grateful that I'm lucky enough to wake up each day and go to work and work for eight or nine, ten hours a day and do that because there was a time in my life when I was laid off from a job when I lived um, in Connecticut. I was laid off and it took me two and a half years to find a job. I had temp jobs in between that, but no, it took me like three years to find a job with some, you know, use full temp jobs in between. Yeah, it was great. Got three things. Okay, three things. Another thing. I am grateful that I now have a car that I don't have to say, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, every morning. A working safe car. I am grateful for that. Is that four? I don't. I'm not keeping track because I keep talking. Blah, blah, blah. I'm grateful for friends. I have some really good friends. And friends, my dad told me something. I, am I, does that make me old by saying my dad told me something? But my dad told me something. He said, In your life, you are lucky if you can count the number of your friends on one hand. Because all that can fit on one hand, those are your friends. I'm grateful for this midnight pomegranate antibacterial hand soap because I really like the way it smells and I don't like bacteria. I'm joking. I am grateful for. Oh, the last one's always the hardest, and I don't want to say something superficial like grateful for this brush. What happens when you get silly? You can't get back to the serious. I'm grateful for. My pants look weird. And I guess it doesn't have to be deep, it could just be something I'm grateful for. I am grateful that this made me a bad person because I can't think of one more thing that I'm grateful for. I feel like the things I covered were really big things. Um, I'm grateful for... I'm so embarrassed. I feel like a bad person. I don't want to say like I'm grateful for the clouds in the sky, but I don't know. I'm grateful... For all of the things that I have and all the things that I will do in the future. And I'm going to call it a night because it is late, y'all. You don't even want to know what time it is. I'm supposed to go to bed. Oh no, I'm grateful that it's a three day work week. Wow! How do you like that for attitude of gratitude? I'm going to bed now. Well, no, I'm not going to go to bed. I take a shower in there. You see it? You see it? I'm going to go in there. Gonna take a shower and we're gonna go to bed. Oh, I wanted to say something to a viewer that watches, I think her name, because I'm not near my computer right now, um, is I Spy Red. I always want to say Ipsy Red, but I think it's I Spy Red, and there might be a number after it, but I don't know. But thank you so much for watching my videos. Your comments crack me up. I love when you ask me questions. I don't know why. Maybe I should be like, I don't know. I just like when people ask me questions like, oh, what kind of camera is that? Do you like it? Why do you like it? I just love all your comments and all your questions. And thanks for watching. And oh, there's another viewer. I know what she looks like in my head from her thumbnail. But for some reason, her username is not standing out in my head. And I'm far away from my computer. But she lives in Atlanta too. And she's brown skin. So you should know who you are. Thank you too for all your comments. And I love you, you love me, C-E. See, I am so tired right now, I need to go to bed. Um, you know what I'm talking about, we tweet. Tweet, that's my Twitter sound. Um, yes, so I am grateful for you guys too. And I will talk to you tomorrow, bye!